damn. <laughs> Good lord. Yep. Uh, welcome back to the Crew Project, everyone. I'm here with Ant and Kevin the Two Cent, and as always, we've got a great episode for you guys. And we're gonna be uh, talking all about the new rap beef that everyone's hearing with Kendrick and Drake. Before we get to that, if you get any value from the content that we share, please like, subscribe, and uh, share the video. If you get any value from it, go over to our Spotify channel, follow us for a great commute. Listen, if you can't watch the videos on our YouTube channel. And uh, with that bit out of the way, let's get to it. Let's dive. Whew. So this rap beef going on between Drake and Kendrick, right. I think officially now it is technically over. Is it? I'm seeing I, a lot more stuff coming out. Well, in actual lyrics going back and forth, like mm -hmm. diss tracks, I think it's done. Um, I th <laughs> until, until Drake drops another one. It's true. I think, yeah, Kendrick is the last one that dropped, right? Because he dropped... Not Like Us. That was that the very last one he dropped. I think that was a, that was the very last one, and that's that's the most recent one that's been going viral. I think. Yeah, yeah. I um. There's a lot of people on that bandwagon for not like us. Apparently, actually, that not like us broke records on Spotify for streaming. That's crazy, bro. Spotify. <laughs> yeah. Spotify is loving this right now. <laughs> They're just hoping for Drake. But, you know, drop another. You going to let him do that? You going to let him do that? <laughs> Rumors are Drake is getting ready to drop another one. That's what. I, that's why I said, is it over? We'll see, though. We'll see. I know who, who really won in this situation. J. Cole. J. Cole saw the punches coming, and he was like, you know what? I'm going to go enjoy my <laughs> life on the beach. Y'all be easy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit this one out. It's been real, though. Hit me up when you guys are done. Bro, have you seen uh, World Stars page where they created like the little wrestling matches between J. Cole, Kendrick, and Drake? Yo, the internet and, never loses. Oh my God. How Drake is, uh, Drake and Kendrick are going at it in the ring, busting each other up in the wrestling game that they made. Yeah. And J. Cole is outside the ring, just like, yeah, I'm out. He just, he's just dipping out. He's like, I'm good. <laughs> I think one of my favorite renditions they've done. Is the uh, it's the it's from Naruto the the great the great war the great ninja war or something like that uh, and like uh, they have Kanye they have J Cole they have Kendrick oh Drake God. and they're all like oh. different ones like uh, I think Drake is like Orochimaru and uh, Kanye is uh, Madara I think or so they're they're, they're all Hashidas <laughs> no in way. there. The do or uh, Hashirama, not Hashida. Hashirama's in there and everything. <laughs> Great, dude. <laughs> I have yet to see that one, actually. <laughs> that, one was good. that one was really good. The internet is really, really loving this. <laughs> oh, Great stuff. It's always undefeated. I'm going to be honest. I don't even remember what started this whole beef. Um, I mean, if I remember correctly, I think Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar were supposed to collaborate on an album together. Ah. Oh, yeah. And that fell through. And that fell through. And then once it fell through, then shit talking be behind each other's backs started because of the fell through, like the blame game, pointing game, uh, pointing fingers type of thing happened. Is that it? Okay. And then that basically just escalated because of their pride and egos. So mm. one didn't want to. He said, he "Fuck the yeah. big three. Drake it's just was big like, me. you know, Drake base. Drake, Drake. Uh, in my opinion, Drake is like way too sensitive when it comes to these things. Like he uh, reacts way too quickly, and almost in a in a female manner. To be honest, I swear. Hey, you don't call like, him BBL dizzy for nothing. You know what I, I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like I think he was way too emotional about this, and he reacted, and then Kendrick Lamar." did not like the way he reacted then and 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 it just blew up after that and j cole as soon as it it got to that point he where said, it blew up j, j. cole out. was like yeah but man i'm, I'm out bro like <laughs> y'all j cole reacted the way like a mature adult would and he's just like you know i don't want none of this you guys are acting like children i'm out that's yeah. how but then some people started dissing j cole about 
Oh, J. Well, J. Cole, J. Cole took came that. back. He made that one week. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like week is water. Yeah. This track. And people were like, yo, I about fell asleep listening to this. <laughs> what are you doing? And I think after he saw that, he was like, I think he's he didn't have maybe the uh the drive in that sort of avenue. Yeah. I think he was like, you know what, this is I I don't care about this. And then but it was weak. It was like I was listening, I was like, Is this a bedtime story? What is this? I'm about to take a nap right now. Isn't J. Cole's style kind of like that too? So like mm-hmm. one of the most of his slow. music is like kind of slow. Yeah. So like I feel like if you're doing a diss track, you can't necessarily do a a bedtime story type of diss track. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I guess you could. Like you it depends on your delivery and everything, but he just nobody really took his very well. So I think he just kind of he backed out. He backed out early. Mm-hmm. But I think it was a good move on his he he wasn't in it. His heart wasn't in it. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really I mean, he, yeah. I feel like Can you imagine they tag team Drake though. Yeah, Drake's probably lucky. Well, that, that they that J Cole didn't tag team and they hit a fusion dance. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't have been this many diss tracks. There'd have been one. Yo, the both of them going back. Like the the one diss track that uh, Kendrick came out was it Euphoria, mm. the one where he changed the beat like three times. Uh-huh. He's like, let me switch the beat up. Another one? Let me switch the beat up. Another one. This one. I hate the way you walk. I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you hold your head. Yo, the internet took that one, and I loved all the renditions of that they made, like on TikTok. It was absolutely beautiful, dude. That was great. But Kendrick was like, look, I'm I'm biased. Yeah. I'm way more of a Kendrick fan than I am a Drake fan. Drake has got Drake is not good by himself, in my opinion. Any songs that I like that have Drake or by Drake. Is because of the features he he have on it. Mm-hmm. Um, like I think the one is um, oh, I'm probably gonna butcher the name. I think it's called Knife Knife Party. Fuck, I don't remember. It's a bunch of emojis of like pregnant chicks. But like that song, uh, that song goes hard for me. But um, that I think that's Drake's song. But he's got Future on mm-hmm. it, and it's just that the, he just makes a song for me. But so I'm biased. So I feel Drake. He had that uppercut to where you like, you kind of take one step, you lean to the ground, uh-huh. and I feel like he was just giving it to Drake the whole time. And, but I'm biased, right? So I'll admit it, I'm biased. I'm more of a Kendrick fan, and um, so I'll speak on a. You mean knife talk? Is it knife? Talk? Knife talk. What I say? Knife, knife party. Knife party is a is a uh, EDM band. That's what I'm. The knife talk. Knife I'm gonna talk. feed the streets. I gotta <laughs> feed the streets. Yo, yeah, then that one starts. Oh, <laughs> boy, the bass gets turned up. In this uh, bill, oh. 21 Savage and Project Pat. Yeah, 21 that, Savage. Is that, that who it is? Wait, 20, Fu- wait, isn't Future on that? Or is Future not on that at all? Well, speaking of 21 Savage, Maybe right? he's not on it. 21 Savage recently tweeted out that he wants to, he took a neutral stance. He's like, um, Drake, my boy, and Kendrick, my boy. That's all I got to say about that. No, that's okay. right. All right, well, can you hate 21 Savage for that? I don't know. Some people are shitting on him for not taking Drake, uh, I mean, Kendrick's, Kendrick's side, and then some people are taking shots at him for not taking Drake's side because he's done he, he's done collaborations with Drake before. Yeah, I think he's so. done more with Drake recently mm-hmm. than he has Kendrick. Um, yeah, but the fact that he took a neutral stance... Drake's my boy, Kendrick my boy. People sh- throw people are hitting him left and right with that. Twenty one Savage right now under fire. <laughs> I think honestly, anybody who takes a neutral stance, either uh-huh. way, it's it's a business standpoint, right? Like you, you know, can't it, win. You, <laughs> it's like it, it, well, it's like it's like a win win. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't take a side, yeah. Now whoever loses, it doesn't affect you either way. Right. It's a smart play. Honestly, it's a that's a good play on my book. But you know, as a uh, you're 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 speaking. You said you're taking on it like you're speaking from a, like a biased sense. I'm, right? yeah, I'm very biased, but I'll admit it. Like I don't like Drake, but I don't necessarily listen to a lot of Kendrick as well. But I do respect the fact that he is a very good rapper. Now, you, are you saying like because he doesn't have Ghost Riders? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just. All right, drop your diss track. Go ahead. <laughs> I hate the way you talk. I hate the way you look. I hate the way you smell. 
<laughs> and about to come out with a diss track of his own. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that would be bad. <laughs> that would be really bad. I'm not good at that. Yeah, that's that's a that's another problem. And I'll I'll come back to that. <laughs> but <laughs> but no, it's um it's more so of like like I don't have like a huge um interest in rap all that much, but I keep my eyes and ears open because of it, you know. Couple couple catch your interest. You, yeah, you like a couple exactly. songs. Okay. Yeah. Uh, That's fair. And I've always had this same opinion about Drake from day one. That I never thought Drake was all that good. I always thought that he had an plenty of ghostwriters and that he catered literally literally to what people people eat up. He doesn't okay. s- he doesn't necessarily like stay true to his way of uh rapping and being a true rapper you know what i'm saying like kendrick lamar he get he like he when he's rapping he gets lost bro he's in a different like he's in a different dimension that's how he raps you ever seen him rap like behind the mic no actually i don't think i ever have no boy gets lost bro like he's in the zone so deep that you're just like bro he he built for this Bro built different. Yeah, bro built for this. Okay. And Kendrick Lamar, um, but yeah, that's Kendrick Lamar. But Drake, bro, he's he's always just been like, all right, well, who's who's got the best lyrics for me? Drop it. All right, well, thanks. Get the fuck out of here. All right, I'll take it from here. It's like he's, so kinda, he's a better marketing strategy. That's the thing. He mar- Yeah, he he's markets, good, mm. and he's all about marketing, pushing numbers. And get in the views. Whereas Kendrick Lamar is like, I don't, I'm gonna put out what I put out, what I believe in, what my, I'm, I'm gonna show my real talents, and we'll see the reception. And God, people love that shit. People are eating it up because they see his, they see the real talent from him. He's, and he's whereas, an amazing lyricist. Yeah, that's the thing. And then, not to mention that there are rumors about Drake. The reason why Drake is so popular and has been like getting these numbers these massive numbers on he on these singles and re- and albums right mm-hmm. getting these awards and his popularity and over overall there's rumors about why he's been up there and for many years now it's because apparently he's had help from the hollywood elite the music industry elite and they've been pushing him up giving him everything to have him stand at the top because of a certain agenda that they've been trying to push through Drake. Mm. And one of those agendas that's uh, kind of been rumored is Drake being a pedo. That's so <laughs> when I said, I'll come back to that, the ghostwriter thing, this is where I, w- I this is what I meant. Rick Ross did not hold back anything. Yo, Rick, Rick Ross has not been holding back anything. Rick Ross is 100% on Kendrick Lamar's side. Rick Ross has been going ham on J- on Drake. Oh, Cupcake He's, Drizzy. Oh, oh, Cupcake Drizzy, white boy Drizzy. <laughs> He's been calling him. He said, him he called about something along the lines of, like, I'm paraphrasing here. And uh, he said, Drake, you need better ghost riders, bro. You need better ghost riders because they're making you look bad. They write things about pedophilia in there. They may, and that's what you take up and that's what you rap about. That does not look good for you, man. You need better ghostwriters. I even <laughs> heard there was um allegedly one of his ghostwriters yeah. came and was like, I, I forget. Oh gosh, I should have wrote his name down. I saw it. On, it was a TikTok video of one of his ghostwriters. Yeah. He claimed came back out and like made a diss track during this whole thing against Drake talking about how like he just he went to fame and like he helped him with like lyrics yeah drake rose and just forgot about this guy yeah but like he was not completely because he always got his help yeah but it was like he had to follow in his footsteps because he couldn't i don't don't really know the whole story like i mean if he was really that good i would just been like oh i'm just gonna write my own stuff like if, if i can do that but i guess Maybe like the music industry being probably as crooked as it is, he's gonna get like shut out everywhere, yeah. right? Like if if somebody were to have enough power, and this guy was like, "Yo, no, shut this guy down," mm-hmm. 
His record's not getting played. He's not getting a deal. Nobody's signing him. Right. He's not going anywhere. So maybe that's why he felt he had to follow. But I forget the guy's name. It was a really weird. It, it was like just a bunch of characters. Like it didn't actually seem like a name. It was like L Y X like, or something. I felt like I saw that too. Um, and remember. I can't remember it at the moment. But if you guys remember it, if you guys yeah. know the dude's name, let us know in the comment section, please. Definitely, We'd definitely. Like to know. I can't remember. I know it was on TikTok and it was pretty big. Yeah. But he was talking about how. He pretty much had to follow Drake in his shadow because mm -hmm. otherwise he was he wasn't gonna get anywhere, but he was getting yeah, you know he was getting some sort of revenue from it. Right. But it, he wasn't seeing the fame because he was in Drake's shadow. Yeah. And do you guys have more specifics on that? Um, on the Ghost Rider. Yeah. Oh, dude, I can't. I can't think. Um, not really. It was no. a TikTok video. That's all I know. It's something that I saw. Yeah, but yeah. You while look you look that up, Drake's uh, Ghost Rider video TikTok, maybe. But yeah, Rick Ross, bro, he ke he kept going. It wasn't just that. He, he even came out with a song recently. He yeah. came out with his own little diss track. He did, he did. But his diss track actually, Rick Ross's diss track actually included the game. Y'all remember the game? Yeah, he's been quiet for a while. Well, yeah. Uh, Wait, he had the game? Because I, okay. I never heard the full song. Well, they, I just saw like, he, part the, of it. Yeah, the diss track included some diss about the game. Because the game apparently has been throwing a lot of shade on Rick Ross. Now, I don't know what their beef is about. But there their beef is, go, yes. Dude, you're and, the beef? And here's the thing. Like, everyone is kind of eating this whole diss track get, rap battle thing. Eating, You know, they're all eating it up. And they're, yeah. they're taking advantage of this whole thing right now to maybe get some clickbaity stuff, too. So the game being one, another one you know he's calling rick ross like oh boy can't even uh you know go a day without eating a cookie or whatever some shit like that you know you're talking about <sighs> drake or say? talking about other oh. uh, yeah <laughs> so i don't know but he's he's going he's going on about uh throwing some shade on rick ross but then rick ross i mean kendrick lamar took up some of the uh mentions of the pedophilia thing about drake and he actually included that in one of his diss tracks about Drake actually being a ped pedo. Oh, and he's been he laying talking, that out. He's talking dude. about that 17 year old girl that Drake took out to like dinner no, or something. No, that was an 18. So there was an was, 18, it, was it 18? There was actually an event with a 17 year old as well. Uh huh. So he closed out an entire restaurant mm -hmm. for a dinner date with an 18 year old model. Yeah. Then he brought up before he was this was years ago. Mm -hmm. He brought on stage a 17 year old and was like nibbling on her ear and then found didn't ask her before, mm -hmm. then found out how old she was mm -hmm. and then continued to keep her on stage. Yo, everybody was like, Ayo, yo, just and he was like, I can't go to jail yet. Moment mm -hmm. was like, Yet? <laughs> you mean at all, right? Like, <laughs> what do you mean yet? Yo, bro, it's gotten really people it, have been it, going back through his old lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. And like hearing, and he'd be like singing, he'd be like, oh, Drake, what? He was like, he was like, he's giving me teenage fever. No, wait, Drake, what? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's Stop. it's almost a, it's almost like reminiscent of the P. Diddy stuff, right? Uh, when some of the older songs of, of P. Diddy, people were listening to it, and now they listen to it at this day and age, and they're like, and they're like whoa, wait a minute. Things are starting to make sense. Yeah, the whole pedophilia thing and like the accusations of like sexual assault with like, you know, teenagers and whatever and like yeah. that he's being accused of or the you know what is sex, sex trafficking and stuff that he's being accused of like there's there's like hints and mentions of that stuff in his rap songs of diddy back in the day and people <laughs> now that they're listening they're, they're, it's the same reaction with the yeah. drinks they're like what did he just say uh, play that one more time yeah hold on rewind that really quick what did he just say <laughs> what did he say <laughs> you find anything yeah. or uh, is the quentin the name quentin miller uh, I don't. Well, so, like on TikTok, I think maybe somebody else reposted it. But um, do you have? Can you maybe have a picture? Quentin Miller. But yeah, no. He uh, it, it got even worse, bro. It got it got to the point where I don't know who's doing this, <coughs> but <laughs> people are going on Google Maps and changing <laughs> and changing no. and changing Drake's house. They put thumbnails. Well, not thumbnails. They put little pins. On the on Drake's house, yeah, and the pin on top of the pin it says uh, owned by Kendrick Lamar. Drake's house owned by Kendrick Lamar. They put uh, another pin on top of his house and it said owned by Kendrick Lamar's dog. <laughs> Yo, 
<laughs> oh, is that who it is? Uh, maybe, maybe that's him. That might, that might be the guy. Yeah, I mean, probably. you know, to say it's really a shot in the dark. Uh, who knows how many Ghost Riders he has? Yeah. But I know the guy came out with a diss track. I uh, think if you're smart, you have more than one. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure Drake does have. Yeah, I guess point, so. Point That's kind of crazy. What was his though. name again? Quentin Miller. Quentin, Quentin Miller. Miller. Well, yeah, again, in the comment section, let us know if that's the guy or if you guys know who that. Yeah, Ghost maybe Rider if Quentin is. Miller is is the guy. But yeah, I saw the 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 Google Maps yeah. and they changed. You remember the the line? The what? The, probably the one of the hardest lines everyone remembers is the the verse Kendrick put out. Uh -huh. Talking about, and you're probably trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. Oh lord, Ooh, yo, that one resonated. That was like the shot heard around the world type of resonation. And someone changed a part of his home mm -hmm. to, uh, it was like children's guitar, mm -hmm. a minor. Yo, stop. <laughs> It was like a corner of his house was like a little good. It was like supposed to be like where you would go learn to play the guitar and it was called A minor. And I was like, yo, yo, who's doing this stuff on the Internet, bro? This rap beef. So like before the Kendrick and Drake rap beef, you had like Chris Brown. Yeah. And I think it was like one of the Migos. Uh, was it Quavo? Was it Offset? It was Quavo Offset. One Quavo of has been on in Chris Brown's, if I'm not mistaken, Quavo has been featured on some of Chris Brown's songs on, on Justin Bieber. I as think well. it was Quavo because I think was it Quavo? It might have been, but that was like a short beef that, that like kind of just fizzled out, I guess. And then this yeah. dude, it's like feeling like back in the nineties, yeah, like NWA and like Easy E right, and like everybody right. like beefing. Because recently Drake's house in Canada got yeah. shot at, and allegedly one of his oh, security guards was shot. I did hear about that. So actually. it was like a drive by, yeah, right? And it was a drive by. Yeah, evidently somebody drove through. Shot, shot his security right and then they took off that that i mean i don't know if anything more has come up of that i heard about yeah that they they um but it was in canada yellow taped his yeah. uh his house and uh they're doing a whole ass investigation about that yeah i That's heard about wild, that dude and the same so someone else went and did the same thing that they did with drake's house they put that shit on kendrick lamar's house on google maps bro and they said oh, Kendrick Lamar's house. It says with a little pin on top of it, owned by Aubrey. <laughs> and for the, for a little while, I was confused who the hell Aubrey was. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows Drake's first name is Aubrey. Bro, <laughs> pretty sure his first name is Aubrey, isn't it? It's Aubrey Aubrey Graham. Look that shit up, bro. Cause I was losing my shit. I was. You I calling said, Drake I, for so long, yeah. Drizzy, Drizzy Drake, and you never, you forget. I've never, I don't think I've ever heard anyone named his name, but I'm, I'm quite oh certain God, man. Drake's first name is Aubrey. I lost my shit. I was like, nah, ain't no, ain't no way this boy's name is Aubrey. No wonder. Rick Ross over here ripping him and calling him cupcake and shit. You know, and now it all makes sense. <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, while all of this is going on, other people are also taking advantage of whole diss track and all this shit. Fifty Cent. I don't know if you remember. Yo, Fifty Cent throwing, never misses a never. chance. Never. And this boy was throwing shade on Diddy not too while, not too long ago. He's right? a king. He's the king of petty dog. Dog. It's Aubrey. It's, oh my god. Yeah, it's his first name is Aubrey. Aubrey. Okay. Aubrey. Um. Yeah, ain't no way you're you're winning a rap battle against Kendrick Lamar named Aubrey. Okay. I don't know why nobody <laughs> even just calls him Aubrey. I wouldn't even call him Drake anymore. I'd be like, yo, Aubrey. Yo, Aubrey. Tone it down. All right. <laughs> Imagine. Yo, that just sounds disrespectful. Aubrey. <laughs> Aubrey. Chill out. Chill. Chill out, Aubrey. Oh then he goes said my girl, the whole the whole him on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yo, is that a snake? Yo, put that phone down. <laughs> Hey, babe, I'm going on a plane trip. Like, hell you are. <laughs> you keep your feet on the ground. I don't care what he sent you. <laughs> oh, shit. Snakes on a plane, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Not the snakes on the plane. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, anyways, oh, oh, 50 Cent. <laughs> 50 Cent was throwing shade on, on P. Diddy. And now, recently... Um, What's his, What's P Diddy's son's name? I think his rapper name is like. He has a son, King, King Diddy. Yeah, yeah, P Diddy. 
I ain't know. I ain't know. Dog, P. Like, Diddy has like 30 kids or some shit. Mm. Yeah, he's worse than he's worse than Nick Cannon. I've never kept up with his like his status at all. I know Nick mm. Cannon be having kids. Like, dog, he's year, worse dude. than Nick Cannon. This boy, ha- yeah, he's worse than Nick Cannon. He's <laughs> he's got he has so many different kids, bro. And <laughs> one of his kids, I think, is like King 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 D- King King Combs. King Combs. Thank you. That's what it is. Yeah, King Combs. He d- he recently dro- dropped a diss track on on Fifty Cent, bro. <laughs> no, Fifty Cent probably. Dog. Fifty Cent is the king. What he do? What he do? What are you doing, dropping diss tracks on Fifty Cent, bro? Has Why he, are you disrespecting you? Did he rebuttal or anything, bro? He said I got bored. <laughs> he, he didn't even acknowledge it. That's how bad it was. <laughs> he did not even acknowledge it. He said he brushed him off like he was. He said he's a kid. <laughs> Dude, 50 Cent he is so him. petty, dude, on the level that everyone wishes. Who, he was beefing with somebody, and I can't remember who it was. Somebody in the comment section probably remembers. He was beefing with somebody so hard, and the guy, they, they were having some beef. And so he knew that the other rapper was, like, not, not doing as well as 50 Cent. He bought out the entire front few rows of his concert, so they were empty. Oh, oh, I remember that. Hold on. Oh, Bro, he bought out three, it was like three or four front rows of the concert, so it was empty. Bro, the level of petty. Who was that? Do you guys remember that? Was it Ja Rule? No. No, it was not Ja Rule. It was not Ja Rule. I can't Rimes? remember. Huh? Who? Buster Rhymes? No. no, 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 no. It was, it was something. It was someone notable. It was, it was, it was someone. Whoa, pretty... whoa! What you saying? Buster Rhymes is notable. No, no, no. But not Buster Rhymes because Buster Rhymes was not involved in this. Yeah. I'm saying it was someone that was notable, and oh. it was uh, he's, he's pretty freaking famous. So I, I just can't, I can't remember, remember right remember now. Who that but yeah, it was, was. A, and the, and the beef was a, was a pretty like notorious beef at the moment. Yeah, that when it was happening. I can't. Uh, but. So oh, good, this though. is this is what Fifty Cent said. Okay, this was his response. He said, "I feel so threatened by the things Christian is saying on his on his record." He used his first name, <laughs> Christian. <laughs> I feel so threatened by you, Christian. Please, <laughs> please, please keep saying it. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd be like, Aubrey, how could you say such hurtful things? <laughs> please tone it down, Aubrey. <laughs> tone it down, Aubrey. Get a hold of yourself. This isn't you. You remember Degrassi? <laughs> what did, was it? Degrassi he was in. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. When he was his when he was first into acting, when he's in Degrassi. Uh, you talking about Fifty Cent? No, who? who? Aubrey. Aubrey. I'm gonna call him Aubrey from now on. That's it, Aubrey. Aubrey. When he was he was in Fifty Cent, and then the school shooter shot him, and they became in a wheelchair forever, and that's how they ended Degrassi. I don't remember, honestly. Yeah, Drake. Drake was. It's an was, old show. Yeah, it's an old um, show. And then when he first started in acting, yeah, he was some guy, and he was a. Uh, and there's a school shooter, and he shoots him in the back, and then he becomes paralyzed. Oh, he's in, then he's in yeah. a wheelchair. No. <laughs> Is this also around the same time that he was a kid. Aubrey was doing... Uh, oh, he was a kid. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. It was, was before about, he was 18. I was about sure, to say. Or right, right when he was about 18. He was maybe like... I don't know. There was, one, there was literally one little skit that Aubrey did that I found it a little bit funny when he was imitating Manny Pacquiao seen that no it's actually a little funny yeah mm. yeah he got a little jokes on him. one yeah. thing actually not to completely i mean we're still the still same thing but mm-hmm. so many ex in uh aspiring i couldn't think of the word aspiring rappers are taking the beat because metro Boomin caught shade from this as well and one of the earlier tracks Dre, uh aubrey excuse me aubrey put out <laughs> Whoa, whoa, We're sticking to it. We're y'all, sticking to it. You almost slipped up there. Slipped Aubrey, up. Aubrey, buddy, Aubrey. Aubrey. Get it together. Uh, he put out, and he like randomly threw out, he was like, and Metro, make some fucking drums. And Metro was like, I was going to make drums anyhow. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care. I was going to make drums anyhow. Yo, he came out with that song, BBL. So BBL Drizzy was a song uh-huh. that came out um, this year by somebody else. Metro didn't make that song, I don't mm-hmm. think. But he took that and made an instrumental. Uh huh. The first ever distrumental I've ever heard. He he. This man dissed Aubrey with an instrumental. And it was yo. That song has been 
blowing up. Yo, that's is the catchiest thing. It's Yo. on repeat. It lives rent free in my fire. head. It is it's absolute fire. fire. Metro, Metro was like, oh, make it's some beats. It's a whole ass vibe. Make, make, make some beats, and he hit that joint, and everybody was just like, <laughs> he did it. <laughs> I've never heard somebody diss somebody with a beat, but he did that. He he he's cooking. Yeah. And so many aspiring rappers are using that to diss Drake, and like everything is coming out from the dirt. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? His past events. Things that he's been caught up on, pedophilia, drug activity, past uh like court cases, everything is just coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Even potentially him being a part of the uh the hit on X XXX. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> Yeah, I remember that too, actually. But fourteen <coughs> years old when he first started. Oh, 14. and DeGrazi was fourteen. Oh, it was Freaking kid, yeah. Yeah, he was young. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where it's going at the moment, or if it's died out completely, or like it's settled. I don't think so. I don't think it's completely settled yet. I, I think I give it a couple more days. If if nobody, if Drake doesn't respond accordingly, Aubrey, <laughs> if Aubrey doesn't say anything in the next coming days, I I think it's over. It's done. Like he's got nothing more to say. His the PR is, team is probably like Aubrey, Aubrey. Stop. Stop. We tried. We tried. <laughs> we gave it our best, buddy. Hey, you remember the plane video? Everyone loved it. It was great. You have a lot of money. Remember, you're still rich. <laughs> that BBL's looking good. Come on. We go out in the sun. We'll have a great time, huh? Just leave it alone. Come on. Get out there and get some vitamin D. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go free ride on the plane, you know? You'd love that. <laughs> Come on, we'll take you in the backyard. Enjoy the enjoy the water. How, how about that? Him, they tell them the song's catchy, and they start singing it like softly. Turn that song off right now. Sorry, 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 sorry. <gasps> Is it walking away? <laughs> oh, that's saying under rough. his breath and shit. <laughs> and all in all, I think Kendrick. Came out on top, one hundred percent in my opinion. I'm, I'm thinking Kendrick, he's swinging. Let us know actually in the comment section who do you think won and why. But yeah, real quick, the why is important to be honest. Like the why, what is, is your important. rebuttal? How, if you think Kendrick won, why? If you think Aubrey won, why? Yeah. Well, guys, uh, that's all we had for this topic, I guess, huh? Yeah, that's all right. Well. If you guys like the content that we shared today, if uh, you got any value from it, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Go over to our Spotify channel and follow us for a great commute listen. If you can't watch our YouTube video, and uh, well, Ant, take us away, Kev.